Hi everyone, today we are going to learn an all-in-one AI tool that you can use to generate and manipulate ultra-high quality images. This single tool has all the advanced AI features like face swapping, upscaling, in-painting, out-painting, image prompting and many more. And the best part is this is completely free and open source and you can start using it right now on your computer. I have provided the link in the description. The AI tool I am talking about is called Focus with 3 O's. Let's see how to set it up. When you click the link in the description, you will see an interface like this. Don't be afraid of it. This is not the main interface. This is Google Colab interface also known as a notebook. It allows you to connect to a GPU by simply clicking this connect button. When you are connected, now click this play button to start your session. When you get this warning, don't worry, simply click run anyway. This notebook will be loaded from GitHub, which is quite a trustworthy source. This will download and configure necessary resources on Google Colab and generate a Gradio Live URL. Simply click it and you will reach the main focus interface. Here you have a blank canvas. Just below the canvas, you have text input to enter the image prompt. On the right side, you have the generate button. Below text input, there are two checkbox, image input and advance. Let's explore everything one by one. First of all, I am writing an image prompt to generate an image. To generate a good image, I have to write a good prompt. Just trying to be as detailed as possible. And now hit generate. Images are being generated with the default setting. Let's see what we get. So we have two stunning images with the default settings. Now before diving deep into the advanced features and tricks, I want to give you a quick overview of some basic but very important options that we have inside focus interface. You can skip this part if you already know. When you check advanced option, a side panel opens up which has four tabs on the top. The first one is setting. In this tab, in the performance section, you have speed, quality and extreme speed option. By default, speed option is selected. You can select quality if you want to put more focus on quality, but this will decrease the speed a little bit. In the next section, you have all the different presets for aspect ratio. Choose whichever you want. In the next section, you can choose how many images you want to generate. Next, you have negative prompt option, which you can use to exclude something that you don't want to see in your images. In the next section, you have a random checkbox, which is turned on by default. If you uncheck it, you will see the seed option. And this is used to control randomness in the results. For now, let's go to the next tab. In the style tab, you have hundreds of styles. Choose whichever you like or experiment yourself. There are so many of them, even if I mention their name, I will have to make another video. Moving on to the next tab. In this tab, there is nothing much that you need to know except that the base model being used is Juggernaut Excel. Leave everything as it is and move on to the next tab. In the advanced tab, we have two sliders, one for the guidance scale, where higher value means style is cleaner, vivider and more artistic. And the other one is for image sharpness. We have covered everything in the advanced option. The only thing that is left to explore is image input option. And this is the most important of all because most of AI features like upscale and variation, image prompt, in paint or out paint, face swap comes under this option. Now you have the basic understanding of the focus interface. Let's see what we can do with it. To generate variations of an image, simply upload it and select the type of variations you need. I am going with subtle variation and number of images 2, aspect ratio 1 is to 1 and I want quality images. After making desired changes in the settings, simply hit generate button and you have two more variations ready. Similarly, if you want to upscale an image, you need to select the upscale option, make desired changes in the settings and hit generate again. After few moments, you have your upscaled image. 
you can download it from here in the image prompt tab upload your image and go to advanced option here select face swap option and write your prompt to generate your images as long as face swap option is turned on the generated images will have the same face as in the image prompt in this way you can create a consistent character for your content Similarly, you can copy an image style by choosing options Pyracani or CPDS in place of face swap. Here are the results with both the options. Upload your image in the InPaint or OutPaint tab. To OutPaint an image, you just have to select OutPaint direction, make necessary changes in the settings and hit Generate. And here you have a nice expanded image using OutPaint feature. Let's drag and drop this image into InPaint or OutPaint tab. Disable outpaint directions because this time we will use inpaint feature. Choose the method to inpaint. I want to modify content so going with this method. You can adjust the size of the brush from here. I want to add more candles here so after painting this portion I will write the same thing here. Then hit generate. And we have more candles in the corner. 